Hey guys, it's Shalise from Remember When, and I'm here to do a tutorial on uh, the Your Story binding system, uh, the Your Story photo that I just got. And I'm going to be doing a sketchbook for my cards and designs, and um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take you through the process with me, okay? So I'm doing white cardstock, and this is the Georgia Pacifica from Walmart. Um, now this is the 4x6 binder. And I'm going to cut all my sheets to 4x6 because there's about a quarter of an inch around um, with this actual binder, okay? So you can get three sheets of 4x6 from one sheet of 11 in, or 8.5 by 11. So we're going to cut lengthwise at 6. We're going to turn it sideways and cut at 8 and 4. Then you have your two sheets of 4x6. This sheet that's remaining, we're just going to cut that at 6 and turn it around and cut it four. Okay, so you have your three sheets here. And all together, I did, okay, all together I have 30 sheets of white cardstock. Okay, so let me move this. Um, hopefully this will all fit in here, <laughs> um, but we'll see. It looks like it should fit. So it does say in the instructions, that for best results you should score your paper on the binding side at a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of my sheets. I'm going to turn that light back on so I can see. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with all my sheets and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my pages scored at a quarter of an inch and now we're going to go ahead and turn on the Your Story photo. I don't know if you can see the light blinking, but it is. Um, and it takes about two minutes to warm up. And as soon as that is warmed up and ready, I'll be right back. All right, so our um, Your Story photo is all heated up. Um, there's a light that's on here, it's solid. So we're gonna go ahead and put our papers and center it, center them rather, into our folder. I think about there looks good. Okay. Looks pretty even. Make sure they're touching the glue at the bottom. And they're not crooked. Okay. Then you're going to push it down all the way to the bottom until you can't push anymore and then let it go. It needs to hold freely, it says. Then you push this button and it starts to blink. And it says it takes about a minute for the heating process. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and let that heat up and then I'll be right back. All right, so our Your Story photo has beeped. The light has gone from blinking to solid. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and place it in our cooling station um, and we're supposed to keep it in there for about five minutes or so. Okay, so while this is sitting and cooling, we're going to move that out of the way and we're going to work on the front of our, there we go, of our book, okay? So I have a piece of black onyx paper here and I'm going to get out my texture boutique and I'm going to use this folder from Cuddlebug. Um, I think it's called like bubbles. I'm not quite sure. We're going to go ahead and put this in here. And this is cut at six by, let's see. It's cut at five and three quarters by four. So this is going to have a little bit of overhang, but that's okay. Okay. I'm going to put this between my sham my and my two plates here. And we're just going to roll this through. All right. Then we have our bubbled paper here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with some of the other papers and I just kind of have to see where it is. Looks like that one. Okay. 
Okay. It looks like that's the one. So I'm going to line that up, put it back through here, and just get the other side. And that actually worked out really well. You can barely see that, you know, there's a difference. So that's pretty cool. All right. All right. So I have let this cool for five minutes. And it looks pretty secure. I'm just seeing if any of the pages are falling out. And it doesn't seem to be. Now it does say that if any of the pages are loose, that you can put it back in and reheat it for another session basically so I'm just going to fold this back as you see I have the score marks here so as the pages oh cool all right so it seems to have held really well I'm excited so let's go ahead and put together the front and this is going to be really simple like I said it's just for me to sketch in nothing big I'm not making it for anyone else I just wanted to actually this was just an excuse for me to use it so <laughs> I'm gonna make it really really simple here all right so I'm putting some ATG on here and lining it up with the flap uh, side. Okay. And it comes all the way here, but that's okay because we're going to put a ribbon right there. So I have a black satin ribbon. And I'm just going to bring this around. And I'm going to tie it in a knot. And that seems like it's a timer. If it's on too long, it beeps and goes off. I didn't know that, but we just learned that together. So that's a pretty cool feature. I'm burning my ends. And again, it's not something you really aren't burning your ends. You're just getting the flame close enough to, to uh, heat the ends. And they melt. And you can actually see it melt right before your eyes. So you do want to be careful with that. All right, very pretty. And then I'm taking these. These are the um, foam stickers and gems I got from Michaels on clearance the other day. And I'm taking this heart. And I'm going to put it right about here. If you guys haven't figured out, pink is my favorite color. So that's why I dove into this pink so quickly. And I think I want, let's see, these right about there and there, up, as we're trying to put it down. And I think that's it. Very simple book. Like I said, it's just for me to sketch in. And that's how you use the Your Story photo. Um, I would definitely pick it up, especially for, you know, people that do cards and books and um, even scrapbooks. I mean, it's it's a really, really good thing to have. And um, I'm really excited. I'm going to be making some um, books from for my son when he comes back from Europe this summer. Um, to give to people that sponsored him on the trip and everything like that and this is a perfect way to do it just put a bunch of pictures and some places in the back for him to journal and we have a perfect gift for people so this is a really really great product and really excited so I hope you guys like this tutorial um, and this product review and go out and buy them your story photo and until next time stay creative mm -hmm.